In this video I'll demonstrate how to use Excel to solve some of these simple TVM problems. There'll be a series of videos including other problems that you can sample through as well. Mary Jane's decided she wants a million in savings by the time she retires in 35 years. So she earns an annual rate of interest of 8% on her retirement savings. She's got nothing put aside today but wants to add money each year. All right, today the present value of retirement savings is zero. She has no money saved up. 35 years in the future, she wants to have $1 million. She currently earns 8% on her retirement account. Now, she's not earning any dollars of interest, but the account itself earns 8%. 8% of zero is zero. But she's going to add money in there at the end of every year for the next 35 years. She wants to know how much money she needs to put in every year to end up with a million dollars after 35 years. All right, the function is equals PMT. If you type in equals PMT open parents, you can see on the video that there's some help stuff down here. The faster way to do that is click up here on the upper left, insert function. So as long as it's got the equal sign, the function, and then open parentheses, if you click on here, a dialog box will pop up, and then you can populate it from there. I use cell references on all of these because if you use cell references, you could simply copy all this formula stuff, other parts of your spreadsheet, and then you can use the things again. All right, so rate is in cell C9 for me, C10 rather, the number of periods in C9, the present value, C11, future value, C12. You don't really need the type in there. It defaults to normal. Hit the go, go and the answer is she needs to put away $5,803.26 each year. By the way, if she makes payments of 5803.26 and makes 35 of them, then the total amount that she's going to contribute would be 35 payments of 5800 and change each. So of that million dollars that she puts away, about 200, a little over 200,000 of it is her money. The other 800,000 is interest. If you put, if you deposit $203,000 and you take out a million 35 years from now, well, everything over the amount of money you put in is the interest earned. All right, move to the next one. John put 10000 in savings in 1985 when he went to prison. Didn't add anything else to the account. Okay, so if he didn't add anything else to the account, his payments over the time when he was in prison are zero. So he went into prison in 1985, he came out in 2015, that'd be 30 years. He put 10000 out of his pocket, and then in 2015, he put 45618.25 back in his pocket. Now remember, you always got to have a positive, a negative, and then the third number, it, it just depends. We'll see examples where it's positive or negative. Solving for rate equals rate, open parentheses, click on the FX button, you get the dialog box. Number of periods, the payment is zero because he didn't put anything else in. Started with 10,000 out of his pocket, he puts 45,000 back in his pocket, Excel defaults to percent and no decimal places. You need to show decimal places. So that's 5.19%.
Jim Bob wants to buy a car. He can afford to pay $300 a month. The salesman tells him that they can finance any car on the lot at 5% interest for six years of monthly payments. How much car can Jim Bob afford? How much money can he have today in exchange for 72 payments? That's monthly for six years, so that's six years of monthly payments. And each of the monthly payments out of his pocket would be $300. At the end of that period, he won't owe anything else on the car. It's a 5% annual interest, but you got to divide that by 12 because he's making monthly payments. All right, let me add some decimal places so we can see. You actually put the actual number in there. Do not round. All right, so the present value of that would be... All right, there's our rate. Number of periods, payments 300 a month, future value zero, the go button. That means he could borrow $18,627.83, and the payments on that at 5% annual interest, one twelfth of 5% monthly interest, would be exactly $300. <coughs> and the fourth of our simple beginner problem Susie just took out a 30 year mortgage of $250,000 at 4.5% annual interest. Got to make monthly payments. How much is each payment? This is why I use cell references. I could actually copy all this down and then just change what needs to be changed. That way I, I type less. It's a 30-year mortgage with 12 payments per year. That's 360 payments. It's 4.5% interest, but that's 4.5% annual. I'm paying monthly, so I divide that by 12. Go back up here and show some decimal places. The present value of the loan, they gave me $250,000. After I made my 360th payment, I won't owe them anything. Each of the payments would be $1,266.71. I could also do what I did here to calculate the total amount paid and the total interest paid. That would be $1,266.71 a month. And there would be 360 payments. So the total I'll give them is $456,017. How much of that is interest? Everything over and above the amount they gave me. They gave me two hundred and fifty. dollars I gave them back four hundred and fifty-six seventeen. dollars Then about $216,000 of it is interest.